Hey guys, welcome to Business Coder. Uh, today we are going to go over the open source project that I published in order to give an access uh, to a desktop application boilerplate or starter kit uh, for those who want to get started with Electron.js, React.js and TypeScript all together just to build a pretty extensive desktop applications including the system tray functionality that we already done in our previous uh, videos the entire project is just hosting on github there is a very simple readme that you can find inside the repository i'll post the link uh, down below for this, this video description and also if you haven't yet checked out our previous video explaining and going over the setup process how we build the desktop application with system tray integration uh, just go check the video inside the description down below and if you haven't yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button and notification bell icon that helps uh, grow my channel and continue contributing the, to the open source and build talking about how you can build a business on top of the software development so stay tuned and let's jump to the code so we already covered most of the functionality that we have here in this desktop application setup process in our previous video this is more of a like going walk through over what we have and how you can reuse uh, this project later on when you are going to develop your own stuff uh, on top of this so we have inside the package JSON we actually have uh, just a couple of dependencies uh, including the actual like TypeScript stuff uh, React router uh, React itself and uh, TypeScript itself and also Electron stuff so there is not that much anyway like we have to have that packages but again it's just a starting kit you can just modify everything or change uh, some uh, library versions if you don't like uh, it's pretty much on you there is no specific dependencies on that and the scripts are made uh, completely generic uh, out of the what we have so uh, in order just to get started with the web uh, you just have to make a start web uh, which spins up the react application itself this is pretty much the standard create react app script that comes along with the uh, standard uh, create react app uh, there is no changes there uh, and uh, whenever you have to uh, build assets in order just to serve that over the uh, desktop application uh, you have to build the web uh, I just made uh, like separate script because sometimes you just have to rebuild web if you change some uh, JavaScript static assets uh, and they have to serve it over the Electron application so and the second step is actually building a desktop application this is not really a packaging electron it just compiles the typescript into javascript in order just to give an electron some executable javascript files to run and uh, yeah it, it just serves the same ja ty typescript configuration as the original create react app was so there is uh, pretty much the same uh, linting and TypeScript type resolver so even you can share types between your uh, React app and Electron.js app so I made just the, this type of setup uh, pretty much generic uh, if you are going to use that in different way that's totally fine but uh, the point here is that you can build desktop app or you can build web completely separately because during development process you are most likely to develop your ui inside the browser that's the whole point there and also there is a like start desktop application which is obviously just a spinning up an electron instance out of the built bundle here you can see there is electron.js 
starting main file executable uh, for spinning up an electron application itself in a development mode of course also there is a test uh, there is no test right now inside the repository it, this is like completely new one but it uses same same test uh, like, uh, process as uh, Re create react app uses there is no changes there and you can obviously add tests for the ui and run that as a normal create react app uh, no changes there and of course there is an eject this eject uh, remains the same as create react app had uh, no changes there if you want to eject your create react app and do some uh, specific webpack configurations you you can do that uh, but this eject is only uh, required if you have to eject your create react app and it's just mainly for react react application no changes on electron so with that said there is a couple of things that i have to mention before jumping and starting up some scripts just to explain more so there is uh, two type of applications uh, from the beginning there is a system tray application and there is a main application so what does that mean is that uh, we have two different windows one is a system tray that appears somewhere here on a windows it will be on the right uh, bottom side as a normal system system tray application tray window and we have two windows separately actually one was uh, designed in a way just to appear with smaller size like there is a fixed width and height and 200 and 300 but uh, you can definitely change that or make make this configurable it's on you but the, the system tray window size is fixed uh, because obviously system tray window have to be small and uh, you don't have to have a, a functionality to resize it that's how i see the system tray but definitely you can change that uh, it's on you and also it's configured uh, it there, there is a functionality written for toggling it whenever it's not active uh, and the positioning done in a way uh, when where it's located for example on windows it's on a bottom or, or if mac user uh, somehow configured its system tray to appear on the left side it just makes that transitioning uh, the old logic written here uh, calculate window position so you can just uh, pick wherever you want or maybe you you just want to fix uh, the position itself it's on you but the functionality is there again this is just a starter key uh, keep, keep that in mind and the main window is just an electron ts uh, which is spins up the plain window uh, with status bar etc and it's resizable and the main app that uh, contains here is here so the apps different in terms of routing and the routing is then with hash route hash router in react router dom because electron js is not supporting uh, uh, standard routes because it just tries to load the file and in our case it's same file index.html that's going to be built out of the create react app we are just changing a hash and with file paths hash works uh, for urls and the standard paths doesn't work because it tries to mix that and uh, the tray window tray url i'll say hash route uh, loads up a tray app uh, which located in apps tray directory and the main route which is by default loads up the main app which is here and uh, i, I want to show also the most important part here how the loading is done let me just find it yeah so there is a tray window load url and it goes file 
with the current index HTML uh, and it loads up the hash tray URL, which then converts into React routing hash and renders the tray window itself. So that's probably the most important parts that I've done changes there. There is not that much change. Uh, the only uh, things that I worked on is just uh, to make a build process easier than it is with the, I don't know, maybe JavaScript setup or any Webpack kind of set setup. This is like a plain create React app, which very like simple standard things. And the other change is this system tray thing that I've done in a case when you want to have like that system tray capability, you can just disable that if you don't need. Uh, it is just a plain window definition. You can just comment out and remove all that stuff. It's on you, but there is a routing setup and there is a sample how you can make a couple of routes or a few windows, if you will, uh, for your desktop application. So hopefully this will be uh, a lot time save saver for you. Let's just uh, try out uh, spinning up some instance in order just to see. So I'm using a yarn and obviously for starting a project you have to make yarn install or npm install whatever you use uh, is it should work the same. So let's start the web. It should just boot up a pretty standard web application that we have let's say Yeah, you, you can see here. And whenever I'm changing the URL to tray, it just loads up another tray window. This means that routing works, obviously, because we have there uh, the different routes. And if we want to spin up the uh, desktop application, we have to make a yarn build web because, oops, we have to build a web uh, app because the electron JS itself loads up static files uh, compiled from the web application itself. And then we have to build also desktop because if you had changes uh, on your uh, desktop TypeScript files, they have to be compiled into uh, electron JavaScript files in order to make executable for the, for the electron then you have to just start desktop this will spin up an electron instance and uh, will make just uh, instance with system tray uh, and uh, yeah and hopefully it will just load up the entire stuff there so let me just pull an application here yeah here is the electron application this is our main app a window and if you click there there is a system tray window that's probably it thanks for watching i tried to make the process as simple as possible for getting started with desktop application development uh, which is part of the full stack obviously that we are doing on this channel if you haven't yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell button because we are publishing our full stack development and business related topics uh, weekly. So don't miss out. And we are going to publish all kind of projects that we are going to make as an open source in our GitHub page. So stay tuned and uh, happy coding with your desktop app.